hi everyone so somebody today uh, he asked me to show you guys how to find uh, answers for physics questions chemistry and sometimes even biology uh, on the internet yeah because i know most of you have been struggling to find the solutions for your physics to sheet questions so i'm going to show you uh, so the first thing that you need to know is to understand the question. You first have to understand the question. Let's take for instance you have uh, this tutorial sheet. Yeah, you have this tutorial sheet there. So if you want to find the solution, let's take for instance you want to find the solution for the first question here. What you should do is first read the question. After reading the question, understand it. Know what they want know what the question is talking about and then you copy the whole question you highlight it like that then after highlighting it you press there copy then minimize it open your browser when you open your browser this is google you just go there and paste the whole question there and then press enter so once you press enter the the, the the browser will start loading to start loading such that my internet is slow yeah so as i'm waiting for internet here let me also show you the other way you can find the solutions without using internet so the other way you can find uh, your solutions without using internet is by taking a keyword from the tutorial sheet. Let's take for instance in this one. I'll get something that I know that not all the questions in the textbook can have this. Mm, let me check, let me check. Okay, let's take for instance I want to find uh, the solution for question one this same question if if this question is in the book that i'm going to get if i know the book that my lecturer uses i will just come and uh, maybe highlight something like lifting or the lifting mechanisms okay i'll get this lifting mechanism then i'll copy it and then i'll open my book then I'm going to paste it on the search on the search button there. I'll paste it there. So if you don't have this on your application that you're using to open your PDF files, you can just control you can just press on your keyboard control F it will pop up there. And then try to search. So it will start searching like that. So it's searching. So if this question is in this book, it will probably give me the question number and I'll easily get the answer using this solution manual. So this message is simply showing me that the question is not in the book. So if I had a similar book as this, uh, oh sorry, if I had a book which had this question, I would have, uh, you would have seen it. Uh, Okay, let me just try to search. Maybe I'm trying to search A from this book. I'll enter like that. It has shown me here that this is A. So as I keep on pressing next to, to be taking me on every point where there is A, like here, I'll press next like that. There is A there. So now if I wrote something that is part of the question, like what I did here, I got something that is part of the question here. And then I paste it there and then press enter to search. It simply means that uh, this 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 uh, PDF uh, reader will take me direct to that question which contains the same uh, letters or the same words that I'm trying to search. Implying that I will easily get my solution or I will easily get the question. Uh, in the same book because i believe these books have solution manuals at the end so once you get the once you get the question number in a particular book 
it is easier for you to get the or to locate the the answer at the back of the book so we go back let me check if uh if it has loaded still loading what's happening with internet to have I think it has come back all right so it has loaded so after loading the page like this what you do is you check here if there are answers so you look for a point where which has a PDF somewhere here when you download a PDF sometimes it always comes with it mostly comes with all the solutions uh, for that particular book so if if all those questions in the tutorials in the tutorial sheet were gotten from one book it simply means that you get all the solutions for that book like here i have pdf here so when i uh, when i click here it will quickly take me to this page yeah so i think when i just check properly in this pdf thing i'm going to find that question Ah, it's actually even here. Have you seen? This is what I was talking about. So this is the question, the exact question that is there that I was trying to search. So this is how you set the solutions. You get this part. So this is the answer. I'll even get my final answer. I think it's there. Yeah. So this is how you search questions for physics and even chemistry. And note that Mrs. Zimbozi likes bringing questions from the internet. So when you search her questions on Google, like wh what I've shown you right now, you easily get her answers quickly. Even these same tutors. Oh, sorry. Let me not talk about the tutors. So... Um, Another way of finding the solutions, if you check there is no PDF, uh, PDF file here, you go on images there. You click on images. And then once the images have been brought, all these images have, have solutions for that question. So this image you are seeing here, this is the solution for that question. I'll also open this one. It also has the same solution. Yeah most of these images we are seeing here are solutions so it's important to even this one this one is finding the lens the change in lens yeah most of the images that you are seeing are just leading you to the solution some of them are, the, are even final solutions so thank you very much for watching this video do not forget to subscribe subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out in other tutorial videos that I'm going to be making. Shalom, shalom.